Are you feeling stiff and sore in the mornings, but you don't want to get down on the floor and do a full routine that might be too high impact for you? Well, I've got just the thing for you today. I'm going to take you through a seated stretch session, which is going to make you feel amazing. We're going to work on every body part from head to toe. So let's get started with a little bit of a warm up to get that blood flowing so that we can warm up our muscles and then get into our stretches. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall on the edge of the, your chair with some seated marches. So this really just helps get that blood warmed up, get those muscles moving in a nice gentle way. So sitting up nice and tall, keep that chin up, and we're just marching up off the ground as high as you can. If you feel like you can go a little higher, please, we're going to alternate with some kicks here, so get ready. We're going to kick our foot right out in front. Here we go. So push your heel away from you, pushing those heels out, pull the toes slightly towards you. That's going to warm up those lovely quad muscles, so protective of the knee, get the blood flowing, get any fluid moving. You're looking great. We've got 10 more seconds spend 60 seconds on each stretch today. Are you ready? And have a little break. Our first stretch is going to be a hamstring scoop. So we're going to take one heel out in front. We're going to spend 30 seconds on each side. And I want you to reach towards those toes, pull the toes towards you, and reach back. So nice and gentle. Have your knee on as straight as you can. If you want a little bit more, we're gonna scoop that air towards us. So pushing that chest towards the foot. Scoop towards you, bring that air up towards you. You're gonna feel it in the back of the thighs, in those hamstrings, a little bit in the calves as well. If that feels too much on your lower back, go back to the reach and just as far forward as you feel you can, back and forth. Ready, last one. We're gonna swap sides here. So heel in front, pull those toes towards you, scoop, reach forward and back. I've got a little bit of a bend in the knee, but if you can, try and get it as straight as you can. And if that's too much on your lower back, just do a more of a reach pulling those toes towards you as much as you can, keeping this back nice and straight. So try not to twist, reaching directly towards those toes. Last one, and relax. Good, have a wiggle, get comfortable again. Our next exercise is going to be our upper chest and back stretch. It's a really nice one to loosen up the spine, open up the chest, particularly if you sit a lot during the day and get very tight shoulders. So starting hands interlinked in front, drop the chin, push your hands away, and then open up the chest, palms facing forward, chin up, and then scoop forward again, round that back, push the hands away. Good, and then open, chest up, chin up. Good, so we wanna push as far forward as we can, and we want to open up, push those hands back as far as we can. Good, so you're feeling that stretch in the upper back. Good. And then here in this stretch, we're feeling it across the armpits, across the chest. It's such a nice one, particularly if you hold your tension in your upper shoulders. Really nice loosening exercise. You can do this throughout the day if you're sitting a lot at your desk as well. Good. Last one here, reach forward and relax. Just give the shoulders a little roll to loosen things up. Well done. Next exercise we've got is our reach up to the ceiling. So we're going to be stretching down the lat muscles here. We're going to be stretching the upper back and giving those hands a nice stretch as well. So I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose, reach up to the ceiling, interlock the fingers, breathe in. As you breathe out, come down, float the arms towards the ground. Good, breathing in. Breathing out, try and go a little bit higher each time. Breathing in. 
If you can't get those hands up, you've got shoulder injuries, just do what you can. You might be able to take one up. That's okay. Breathe out to bring them down, breathing in. This time I want you to interlock the fingers, breathe out, reach to the right. Lean over as far as you can, feel that nice stretch down the armpit. Breathe in, back up to the ceiling. Breathe out, other side. Good, breathe in, reach up. And breathe out, float those arms down. Well done. Good job, we're doing so well. Aren't we starting to feel so much looser already? Roll those shoulders just to relax things, give the arms a little shake. Great, next we're going back down to the legs. I'm gonna stretch out the feet and the calf muscles. So I'm gonna reach forward a little bit on the edge of my seat, so I'm nice and comfortable foot forward as far as we can. We're gonna do one at a time, point and flex. So point those toes and flex towards you. We're gonna spend 30 seconds on each side. So point as far as you can, really stretch the top of the foot and then flex, feel those calf muscles. Point, muscles on the top of the leg, flex muscles underneath the back. Good, keep going. Lovely. If you need to, you can rest your heel on the ground. Last one, and swap side. So other side, point, and flex. If you hear any clicking or cracking, but it feels not painful, keep going. If you do feel any pain, always just ease out of that stretch. Maybe take it a little bit easier, a little bit slower. We never wanna push through pain. We wanna ease into discomfort rather than pain. We wanna feel a nice stretch. Last one, and relax there. Well done. Shake out those legs, good job. We've got three left here. Next one, I want you to take your left foot and place it over your right knee as if we're just sitting cross-legged. I want you to take hold of your knee there and your ankle on the top. Reach up nice and tall and imagine you're trying to pop your chin forward onto something in front of you here. We're trying to get this chest onto the leg on top. Where I want you to feel that, it's quite a nice strong stretch here, is down this hip and this glute on the outside of the leg. It's a really nice one because this one often requires being on the floor, so this is a great alternative for stretching your, your tight glutes. Good, I want you to ease out of that. I'm gonna swap legs. So to place your other foot up on the knee there, hold onto your ankle and your knee and lean forward. And remember, we're trying not to get nose down. See how much lower I can get with my nose? But when I try and put my chin forward, I'm keeping my back nice and straight. That's a lot harder. And we're stretching the glutes on the top leg here. You can really feel that nice deep stretch. Good, last second, and relax out of that, well done. Just shake it out there, great work. Such a nice stretch for those glutes which do so much work for us throughout the day, amazing. The next one, I want you to try and almost reach towards the floor with your left hand, take your right arm up towards the ceiling and reach over as far as you can. And then nice and gently other side. So we're gonna take it to the other side, reach over, we're stretching down the armpit there. Good, so nice flow movement here, reaching up and over, point that elbow up to the ceiling, try and go a little bit further each time. Good, you're looking great. This is such a nice one when we're particularly sore in the lower back. We really, really want to ease into it gently. Good, so don't push through pain, just do what you can. Even if you do a tiny little bit more each time, that would be amazing. We've got 10 more seconds. One more on each side. Just breathe naturally throughout. Last one. 
and relax those arms down. Good job. How much looser are we feeling already? This is brilliant. Such a quick and easy routine you can do at home at any time. But I love doing it in the morning just to wake everything up. Our last one is going to be our spine twist. So I want you to take both hands onto your left thigh, looking over that left shoulder as far as we can, and then slide over to the right side, looking over that right shoulder. Good. What you'll notice is each time you do it, you'll be able to do a little bit further. So try thinking with the head, looking towards that left shoulder as far back as you can. But again, nice and gentle. It's a really nice neck stretch as well, but don't force it. We don't want to get a cramp in our neck by doing too far. So just do what feels comfortable. As you feel a little bit looser in that spine, you can go a little bit further. We've still got 20 seconds, looking great. Such a nice one when we're stiff and sore in the mornings. Or if you have a job where you're driving a lot or sitting a lot, Good, last one. And relax, well done. What a fantastic, lovely stretch session. So we've eased all of that tension out. Feel free to go through it all again because it's so nice to wake us up and it's such low impact. We don't need to get on the floor and do any high impact exercises to loosen up our whole body. So thank you so much for joining me here at Neuro. We love to help people. Our passion is helping people to ease pain and live their best life pain free. So come along, subscribe to the Neuro YouTube channel so you can see all of our videos as soon as they're released. Also, I'd love to see you in our Facebook community. It is full of tips, tricks, and most importantly, wonderful support from the other community members. I'm also in there giving tips all day long, so it would be lovely to see you there. I'll pop a link in the description below. And last of all, we've got our amazing Neuro app, which I'd love you to download. Give it a try. It's also got some tips and tricks and videos on easing through tension and pain. So I will see you in our next video.